you been there before? The scrapyard? Nah. Just seen the sign on my way to camp. What if we just, like, walk to the main road? This isn't the main road? No, this is all Hackett property. The main road is another mile that way. Wait, how do I know so much more about everything than you do? Wait, shut up. So basically, it's another hour walk to the main road, and then at least another three to four hour walk until we hit the nearest whatever? Yeah. What was that? Hopefully it's just a bird. Okay. I mean, after this many hours, won't it be the next morning already? And then we'll be okay? So, I guess this is me now. What? You're gonna look great with a hook. We can call you Hooky McHook Face. It's really sad. I think Dylan would probably try to stay positive. He's a pretty positive guy. So we're gonna go positive? Yeah, I guess it's pretty unique. I could get different attachments for it. <laughs> yeah, man. Lean into it. One hell of a story, too. Yeah, I guess it's something to talk about on the radio station. We're all gonna be laughing about this in a few years. You, me, maybe even Ryan. Think we missed our shot? Is curious or needs some me time? Is reflective. Let's be curious. Kinda got close at the fire pit back there. Am I crazy or was something about to happen? It was always next year, right? Well, let's get through this year first. You would come back to this camp after this? Doesn't really matter. I right? wouldn't. It's like we finally know Ryan's type. Confident and heroic with an eye patch. So pirates. Maybe she shivers his timbers. <laughs> <laughs> there. motion sensor we're okay i think oh look steampunk's back in. well they made it to the Ew. scrapyard very fast for three to four hours put me down easy ma put me down you'll watch a blow your fucking head off Everybody just relax. Can't shoot what you can't see, darling. Oh, that's interesting. Oh no, I hate this. Do they all have like wolfy night vision? Oh no. Gotcha. Look what you did to my Kaylee. Come on! You've got werewolf strength too! You do too! Oh! Everybody stop! Constant. What the fuck is going on up here? Uh, wake up. Wake up. Darling, wake up. She's gone. Little Bobby. Mom's gone. Too. <sighs> no more party. No more protecting anyone. No more protecting Travis. anyone? Travis? Why did she just run and not take the gun? Oh my heavens. Oh! What? He's just going down the dumb waiter. 
or up the dumb waiter or something. Hiding in the dumb waiter. Holy crap! pull out in real life you'd bleed out okay i mean this definitely lends us to the to the theory of maybe that's why he has to get bitten. Evidence collected. Kaylee's letter. Kaylee Hackett's letter of confession addressed to her grandmother. Can we read it? I want to read it. Hold on, I want to read that. The charred sheriff's badge, we now know. Travis has used his power as sheriff to help his family cover their tracks ever since the fire six years ago. Um. Okay, it's not listed in clues. Well, now Hackett House and the Sill oh, Grates, they're on two opposite sides. Above the law. Lara shot Constance in the head. Holy crap. I wonder if you don't earn Travis's trust if Travis tries to stop you from shooting and that saves Ma. Dude, I don't know. This is all so messed up. It should be in... Hackett history. Yeah, why don't we have the confession yet? I want to read that. And it doesn't, it looks like he pocketed it. Um... Ew. Oh. Uno, okay, thank you for that little uh little tidbit of info, but please try to keep that stuff uh quiet until the playthrough's over. Thank you. I don't want to get too too into the spoilery weeds until after and then I'm going to watch all the different endings and that kind of stuff. How's he like bending down so much and all that? <sighs> Seems like there's nothing in there. But I can't open the door or anything, I guess.
Nothing in there. Maybe that would be a good place to hide. So I think we're just getting hiding spots now. The dumbwaiter, the closet. I can't check that note. I really want to read that Kaylee confession letter. Oh no, Bobby's coming back. Hide! Hide! Block the door or hide. Um, uh, uh. Lord Vader brings up a great point about great hiding places with a trail of blood all over the place. I guess block the door! Oh, that you didn't even put it under the handlebar! Oh, you dummy! That wasn't blocking the door! Oh, he's dead now. He's dead now, for sure. Okay. Now we're Laura running from Pa. Okay, well, running didn't work so great last time. So maybe, no, I think we're going to run this time. Keep running. Okay, come on, quick time events. Doesn't look like you're going to be able to jump over that, ma'am. Oh, this is bad. We are in their house. They know their house better than we do. They're gonna know all the good hiding spots. So running or hiding, both are bad. Both are bad. Okay. But I guess it worked. Don't play the piano. This is not the moment to give everyone your play? No! Why would we give up our location to everybody? That would be so silly. But if we did do it, maybe a clue would come out or something. I don't know. Not going to do it. That's scary. There are Hunting trophy wall. Here. There are bears around here. The spoils of the Hackett's hunting prowess. You'd think they'd want to cover up the bullet wounds and signs of injury. Perhaps they serve as a reminder that these animals are definitely dead. Yeah, that's weird. Werebears? Maybe werebears? <laughs> Says here to the Albonian. Maybe. this way no anything this way this looks like the door we just came in but no that's all up here uh-oh uh-oh this room's terrifying why is this room so terrifying oh there's an electrical box on the back wall Again. No, of course we can't see her now. 
She definitely said peekaboo. <laughs> Hi, Pa. How do you doing? I don't have a gun. We ain't playing games no more, little girl. Try me, motherfucker. Nope. It's not it's not gonna kill her because she's gonna wolf out. You know something? I ain't got enough silver to kill you. But I sure to hell can make you suffer. Oh, great. We're just going to have a little torture scene? Nice. Because she's strong. So I guess he knows she's going to wolf out if he said silver. Attack or run? Um, attack or run? We should probably run, right? We should probably run. Just run. Uh, Lord Vader says attack. You guys are all saying attack. Uh. Attack! We're going attack! I mean, this could inadvertently save our friends. Because then Pa couldn't kill anybody else. And maybe if Pa was the werewolf that bit them, it would have saved them. Although if he can actually die from that alone, he was not a wolf. Oh no, and now Nick's out. If that is Nick, I'm assuming that's Nick. Hey! Travis is devastated. Oh no. Wait. Oh no. I mean, how is he still managing to evade Bobby? <sighs> Fit through that hole, Bobby won't be able to. It's gotta be so hard to do all of this with a knife sticking out of your rib cage. Oh, Bobby might be able to fit in there. He's not even gonna peek his head in to look? Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Courage, Pope. Pull the knife out, use it on Bobby, and then put it back in easy, please. You gotta help me. I do? Yeah, I promise. I won't tell anyone anything. 
No, man. Family first. Besides, I'll get in trouble. With you! Alright, we could stab him! I'm gonna do it. He's gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah. Ow! You stabbed me! Yeah, fuck it hurts, don't it? I ain't never been stabbed before. You were shot before, Bobby. Ow, it really hurts. Dad! Oh, no! This is why Lara's gonna bite him. She has to to save him. He'd, he'd bleed out if she didn't bite him. Oh, Ryan. Snap of light. Oh. Thank you for the resub. How bad is it? I'm so sorry. <sighs> yeah, here she goes. I keep trying to fix it. Whatever this is, people keep getting hurt. First Max... You. It's not your fault, or I didn't want to say it. No, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I didn't have to come here. I shouldn't have let you come. Uh, you're not the boss of me. Am I dying? You've lost a lot of blood. But it'll, it'll heal though, right? Ask for his consent first before you do this. Wait. Maybe it, maybe it will. What? Ryan. Yep, okay, good. If you let me bite you. What? If you let me bite you, it means you'll be infected, which means. Which means it will heal. And you won't yeah. die right here. But it also means. Yeah, yeah, I got it, Big Bad Wolf. Yeah. <sighs> Ryan, I don't have much time. I can feel it like it's. Fighting to get out. If you let me bite you and you heal, then... Then I have to kill Chris. It's, it's not killing Chris. It's killing a werewolf. It's saving your own life. And mine. And Max's and your friend's, too. Do they know that killing Chris Let will naturally get everybody? I feel like she we'll inferred that. Hackett or bleed out and die. Pretty much, yeah. Because wouldn't he have to, if she bites him, wouldn't he have to kill it's her call. to cure himself? So are we doing this or no? I mean, he's just going to die if I don't accept. No one knows yet, you're to Leo Bonian. Yeah, I have to accept. I have to accept. Do it. Okay. Uh. Nice and tender for you. I just, I hope that there's a way they can find a cure, right? I mean, I know the Hackets haven't found a cure in six years, but... Don't pull away, because then she might pull a neck and completely behead him or something. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. 
Do we think that worked? He should start to feel better soon, I guess. She's not fully turned, though. Fuck. We gotta go. Uh, got it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. GK says that'd be hilarious if it didn't work. That would be the saddest if it didn't work. This can only strengthen their relationship. Hearts. Hearts. guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. Okay. Anything relatively intact. We're playing as Dylan. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Fuck. Yeah, well, he's also looking with one hand. Anything and these cars you? are old. Not yet. Keep looking. Brenda's song is married to Macaulay Culkin. Is that what you're saying, Joker Joe, in chat? I'm just scanning. I'm just scanning this junkyard. Well, I guess that's helpful, that light. Just scanning this junkyard, this scrapyard. Okay. Guess none of this is usable. Let's keep going. Be a way to open it. Hmm. Maybe in that house thing. Let's take a look. Sure, let's just go into the creepy house thing. And by house thing, I think he means garage. But I do just want to scope out all outside this garage real quick. Just to see if there's anything else I could be getting. Doesn't look like it. Something here. Hmm. Button. Okay. <sighs> Are we gonna end up in a documentary? No. Shut up. Don't like a go. found footage one, maybe? <laughs> No, let me look upstairs first. Let me look upstairs first. Thank you. Full moon, August 22nd. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. I 
I mean, I don't know that them knowing when the full moon is means they had it all planned out. SUV body damage. Keep this Who's off the tea? books. Mm -hmm. Tea is Travis. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <laughs> Dodgy. You said it. Okay, do you want to see? Scrapyard note. This scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here they don't want anyone to know about. It says SUV body damage. Keep this off the books and out of the way. T. T is definitely Travis, right? We still don't have Kaylee's letter. I want, I want to read that. I'm so bummed we didn't get a chance to read that. We do have new tarot cards. I'm going to scroll over them just so that we don't have the notification. And the new paths above the law. I know this is so sad. In a fit of rage, Laura killed Jedediah. I didn't even know his name was Jedediah. R.I.P. She killed both Travis's parents. And he trusted her. He trusted her enough to tell her what was going on. Love's labor's lost. The cage doors opened when Lara broke the fuse box. Uh, and then we got one more. A pound of flesh. Ryan chose not to remove the knife. He had to be careful not to exacerbate his injury. He removed the knife from his wound and stabbed Bobby. Ryan chose to accept Lara's offer to bite him. Okay. Oh, you can read all the evidence in the credit scene. Okay. I know there's also in the menu, there's like the movie mode where you can watch all the different endings. Anything else we need in the garage? No? Oh, it just goes in a circle? Okay. And it's raining. What do the werewolves do in the rain if they hate the water so much? Okay, well, now it's like we've got a scrapyard corn maze to go through. This isn't scary at all. This feels like those haunted houses you walk through at, like, Hollywood Horror Nights or, you know, scary haunted houses and such. I'm just doing the keep to the right search method. Let's see how it goes for me. Joker Joe, yes. I think Brian's okay. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. Something is totally watching us. So yeah, it doesn't seem like it's just exposed to sunlight. Or not sunlight, excuse me. It doesn't seem like it's just having to be exposed to the full moon. It seems like when the full moon's here, you're going for it. But maybe I'm wrong. We actually, we don't know. There's a lot we don't know about this mythos. Although this is a very large area to explore. And I am seeing nothing that looks even remotely like a rotor arm. Jeez, someone just dropped something on the floor right upstairs above my head. That was terrifying. Look. I mean, that car looks mostly whole, but to drop it, it's going to be very loud.
Dizzy Tech, we lost so, Abby so far, but that's it. A crane before? That we know of. I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Like, <laughs> why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Okay, watch my back. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right. How's he gonna do this with one Looks hand, like poor guy? Mom. Never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. Back grabber. Now you're falling away. What the hell is going on? My bad. It's like the party. The right. party machine? Here goes nothing. Don't just drop it. I think I found my calling. About time. <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can try and get this thing running. <sighs> Score. How did he not bleed out by now, by the way? Oh. Someone else is in there. Someone else is in there with you. It's terrifying. Someone else is there. Warn Caitlin or lift the car? Uh, uh. Warn Caitlin. Lifting the car could maybe warn Caitlin, but. There's something coming! What? Hi! Nice. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Dylan, get the damn werewolf off the damn! Drop it. Can you drop it? No! Uh, oh. Hurry the fuck up! Slam the car or sound the horn. Uh, drop it and smash him? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sounding the horn worked before, but I'm going to say drop it and smash him if we can. Or slam it into something. Oh, no! At least she landed on tires. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the car on the bad guy, but not on her. On the bad guy, he can't see. Oh, this is bad. We're gonna kill Caitlyn. This is really bad. Oh, I hope it lands on him and not on her. No. Well, it's not dead. That won't kill it, but it- Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay, get the rotor so, arm and get out of there. So much for our 
brilliant escape plan. Which okay. werewolf was it? I don't know. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. <laughs> could have been Chris, could have been Max, could have been Chris Hackett's other son, could have been maybe Emma, could have been Nick who escaped, could have been anybody. And they did all of that and they didn't even leave with the rotor arm. Oh! Abby was our one death so far. 2.45 a.m. It's only 2.45 a.m.? No, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Man, this place is huge. My needs a rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Okay, let's see what we can find in here. Huh. What's that? Pray for on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Hmm. Shh. Okay, well, syringes like the ones that Travis used. I mean, maybe that's what they did. Maybe just when it was going to be a full moon, they would trank everybody. Uh-oh. Watch your step. Yep. That would be the safest way to deal with it. Trank everybody on the night of the full moon. Or like what Travis did with Chris where he just locked him in the basement. Oh no! What was that? I think... That could be Chris. I think we found Chris Hackett. Oh no. Oh no. What? Yeah, so much for chaining himself, exactly. It's either Chris or his kid, says STS. It's gotta be one of them. Oh no. Oh no. Silver back mirror. Bobby! The gun! Oh no! Somebody just ate Bobby and I don't know who it is! Who is that? I don't know. I don't know if that was Laura. I don't know who that was. I don't know if it was Chris. I don't know. I don't know who that was. No? Okay, it was Chris! And she's okay! 
Either that or he just stabbed her with the silver back mirror and now she's going to die. And that's why she turned back. Thanks. For uh, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? think this is over? This isn't over. No. Uh, I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Travis is the first? Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Caleb was the first. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. <gasps> I've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf? What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's, he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Um, uh, mean, in what world would I help you? Or, uh, suspicious, why should I trust you? Um, I think suspicious, why should I trust you? Travis has been pretty cool so far. Why the hell should I trust you? As far as this whole nightmare goes. I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. And everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Okay, okay, so where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to look at all the different paths chosen. And there was a lot that just happened in there. Like a whole lot that just happened in there. So everyone's dead but Caleb. Poor Travis. Dante said, why did her undies survive the transformation? Because this game needed to be rated. You had your chance. There we go. You Catch up. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Oh, she mad. Doesn't matter. I'm going to pause it for a second and see if it will give us a chance to catch up. Uh, let's look at some stuff while we're giving it a, a hot moment to chill itself out. Above the law. This is us getting on Travis's good side, but then we killed his dad. Travis decided to work with Laura to find Silas. That could have gone a very different way. The white whale. 
Ryan shot Chris Hackett with silver, curing his line of infection. Ryan survived the ordeal at the Hackett house. Laura, Travis, and Ryan decided to work together to find Silas. So by killing Chris's line, that saved Ryan? Will Ryan still heal? Do Okay, do we think the heal still counted for Ryan? What, yeah, was he infected just long enough to heal? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I guess he's not going to turn now, so way to make the right choice there, if that is how that worked. Team building. Uh, Dylan and Caitlin went to the scrapyard. Caitlin and Dylan worked together to escape the scrapyard. Okay. A pound of flesh. Ryan chose not to remove the knife. He removed to stab Bobby. Ryan chose to accept Laura's offer to bite him. Bobby was weakened and unable to defend himself against Chris. That's why he died, because he was stabbed and weakened and not able to defend himself. Ryan was saved from blood loss. Okay, so Ryan was saved due to our choices. That's interesting. Um, let's see what we've got now. As far as clues, family photo. Caleb infected both his father and his sister six years ago, sometime after this photo was taken. And now he's the only one left alive. Let's see what other clues we have. The scrapyard note. Here we go. The note is referring to Max's car. Uh, Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking for them. I mean, that makes sense as well. Hunting trophy wall we now know more about. The Hackett's killed these animals with silver after they survived werewolf bites and became infected. There's no telling what this infection would do to non-humans, but it subscriber. seems the Hackett's didn't Come want to find out. Yourself. We are building an army. Miss La, welcome to the Dragon Riders. Thank you for the sub using Prime, my friend. The bloodied collar. Chris Hackett killed the camp mascot on the night Laura and Max were kidnapped. When hiding in the storm shelter, he devoured Ian in an attempt to satiate his appetite. It didn't work. So we missed something in the middle that told us who or what the camp mascot was. It was Ian. Oh, werewolf pig. The camp mascot was a pig? Okay, Ian the pig. Rough. Rough. Okay. So that was Ryan years ago with Caleb and Kaylee. They were all friends when they were It's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just... <clears throat> Sorry, that was all messed up. Death. Death takes many forms. We're back now. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means... Well, it just means death. <laughs> oh, is that funny? The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survive. Yeah, we would like to do your that. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. There's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, I'd like to see more. Mickmuck Puttywalk says, I think that there can be 250 or so variations on player choice within the game. One of the reasons why I like this type of game. Yeah, me too. Uh, Uno K says, there's actually 186 different outcomes. Whoa! We're gonna see some more. Do we choose yes, death or the sun? Good, but I feel I like death can might... only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. Death will help us keep one person from death. But maybe the sun will help us figure out what we have to do to start a new day. And starting a new day would save everybody, hopefully. S 
STS also says death. Both RIS and STS say death. Anyone else have any thoughts on it? Uno K says death. Boca Rider says sun. Dante says sun. <laughs> um. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Death, death, death to the curse, maybe? All right, all right. We're, we'll go death. Let's see. Oh, no. Okay, well, something definitely kills Lara if we let it. One last time. Go back. Go back and end this. Cool that she's the seer, too, from the Harem Scarum Act, because on replayability, when she's like, one last time, go back and end this, this could be like your third or fourth playthrough. That's pretty rad. Okay, chapter 10, here we go. Hackett's Quarry Island. Hey, Max. I guess you're just Has gonna get to down. Uh. Where the hell am I? So Silas and Caleb are still out there. Emma took your clothes. You gotta be kidding me. Emma, who might be dead, we're not sure. Okay. Gotta find Laura. Oh, hilarious. He's in Laura's clothes. Well, you know, they look good on you, buddy. Or I guess were those Emma's clothes? Maybe those were Emma's clothes. Don't we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. I mean, yes, you should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. go this way before. I don't know what's over here. If we go up, at least we could take the zip line to get back to the other island. I don't know what's over here, here though. Oh, somebody's hat. Hat is it? She must have come back. Oh, and this just takes you to the other side of the island. I mean, we still don't know who the bloated guy in the lake is, right? Man. Thank you for the hydrate reminder. Stay 
or swim to shore? I mean, we don't know. I feel like swimming to shore at least helps him join the rest of the party. We don't know if there's any other scaries on the island, and we don't know why he was in the tree. Some of you are saying stay. Uh, I, I mean, he's safe where he is. He can go in the water now that he's cured, but there is a dead man chained up under the water. You guys are all saying stay. He's totally safe there, but that's only if there's no other baddies on the island, which we think there's no other baddies on the island right now, so I guess stay. Also, Lara's probably going to come back looking for him there. Yeah, werewolves can't, they don't like the water. 3.30 in the morning. At the lodge. The table, help me. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Oh, perfect. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. Or right, from the well, dead guy in the water. Good now. Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Okay. The poor Hackett family. I mean, honestly, like. To have that happen to your whole family, like, of course that would drive you, drive you wild. Of course Ma was, like, ready to murder that her grandchild died. Because six years ago, they were, like, a remotely normal family. So if we need a good vantage point, we can get one upstairs. Am I not allowed to go upstairs? Okay, I am. Dad, catch him. Happy Pride. Let's see. Someone in chat said something, and I'm not seeing it. Surgat says the 2K launcher literally messes up the game so bad, stutters horribly and stuff. There's a command to skip the launcher, and voila, no problems anymore. Interesting. I did not. I did not even think about that. I didn't know there was a command to skip the launcher. But yeah, I am getting a lot of stutters on it, for sure. I mean, this would be a good vantage point. How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. A long time ago. Long Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett. Painting of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Holds a place of pride on the lodge's chimney column. Now we know... Septimus Hackett was running the show when the Hackett's fortune started to crumble. He was responsible for closing down the quarry all those years ago after falling on hard times. An oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> I guess keep looking for right now, but we could come back to this point. Maybe I should keep looking. I mean, 
This is a very large lodge that I was not really able to explore before. Looks like we can go up the steps again, which might give us an even better vantage point. R.I.P. Ian. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, hindsight, sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? But no, we did. But Ian here? He here what? He died before we got to camp. Uh -huh. Bummer. I'm guessing we were probably supposed to find that earlier. Although I didn't think we could come up here earlier. Ian was a sheep. R.I.P. Ian. Where have I seen this emblem before? Inscribed jewelry. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals that it belonged to Bobby Hackett. The chalkboard doodle. The campers never knew how Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. It's true. Bloody collar, we now know. Ian was a sheep, the camp mascot. Something slaughtered him down in the storm shelter. Storm shelter, excuse me, I can talk today. What is it? A ring with a crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Okay. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Maybe keep that for feedback against the wares. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, RIP megaphone. <laughs> okay, we found the ring on the floor. We found the megaphone. What's this? It's like they're looking for something. Yeah, Silas. Well, I mean, we know that now. They don't know that. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room, he's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. We got that. But I'm just going to continue going around the room. I mean, this would be the vantage point. I can't use that? Aw, oh, come on. They don't want me to have the best vantage point. Did you check the ground floor? I didn't run around too much on the ground floor because she said she was looking for a vantage point. But we could definitely go back to the ground floor. I mean, when we checked the ground floor before... Um, there was like the freezer in the kitchen, which I don't want to get locked in that freezer, but maybe we need to for safety. And I think that's where like Mr. H's office and all that is too. Come on. Oh, this is the blocked side. This is why I could never come up here before. Because it was blocked, but I guess I just didn't try the other side. Oh. That would be Ma and Pa and Chris when they're young, I guess. 
or whichever one was the oldest. I think Chris was the oldest. Could have been Bobby though, I guess. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Who? Uh, the big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess. Right, right. So Bobby's stuff, his ring and his tags and all that is all over this place. Um, did we go up here before? Is this where we just were or like a different section? Oh, something new. They couldn't hack it, says Chicago. Ridiculous. Maybe this is the best vantage point. No, you're not gonna give me this one either? Come on, I can see everything from here. All right, we just came up here to get the tarot card, I guess. And I know you guys are saying we should check out the first floor too, so I'm gonna go all the way down just to make sure there was nothing we missed on the first floor. But I do think that that mid balcony spot is probably our move for the vantage point we're supposed to have. Okay, let's see. anything else down here that's the blocked stairwell that's like the side of the building don't think we can do anything with this door no all right I'm trying to just do a quick scan to make sure there's no other evidence or anything we missed these are the front doors we definitely don't want to open those Right. Uh, a new subscriber. Come, steal yourself. We Dreads, are building thank an Thank you army. so much for using your prime sub here, my friend. Welcome to the Dragon Riders. Join the Discord. Settle in. You're now twice as likely to win in all giveaways, and you have my eternal thanks for supporting the channel. Huzzah. Can we go in this bear room? The bear. No, no bear. Good call. Better. I'm glad we shut that. That was a good find. It's so wild how there's like parts of this building we haven't been in at all yet. Okay, I don't see anything else we can get here. And then this is where the kitchen is. Let's just see if there's anything else in the kitchen since the last time we've been here. There is. What the heck is this? Aww, Abby's purse. You, we could use it as a distraction. Pick it up. You're not gonna take it? 
Come on! Free distraction noisemaker! Okay, we can't go in the freezer right now. But I guess we know where the happy hoppy bunny is. So if somebody else activates the happy hoppy bunny, we know their location. So that's something at least. All right, let's go get the vantage point. The bunny was bigger than the bag, Dizzy Tech. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, here we go. Prepare for an attack. Ah! Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you'll make you stronger. We're here to lead the way. That beats for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Strat and shout out loud. We're Hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? No, something's gonna come down the chimney. Showtime, if, motherfuckers. Are you freaking kidding me? Three thirty oh. in the morning. Okay, come on, game. Is that Emma alive? Oh, I guess she was a werewolf. Okay, so she's alive. Game, come on. Get with it. I could try pausing it, I guess. So random. Come on, we're about to find out if Emma's alive. I need you to game. Well, the clapper on the game kind of worked. <laughs> kind of ninja says have i ever told you about the little computer that could this computer is a beast this computer should have no reason or no issue to run this game in a weird way at all at all all right i'm just gonna look at our paths real quick team building caitlin has dylan's company in the lodge so I guess she might not if we had done things differently. Our evidence. More evidence. Oh, here we go. Kaylee's letter. Can I read it? It won't let me read it. Trail cam footage. Archive trail cam footage from the Hackett Woods. I, why won't it let me look at this stuff? I want to look at it. It does not let me, but I want to look at it. Okay. You're alive. Yeah, well, don't sound so disappointed. What the hell happened to you? Where are the others? I don't, I don't know, okay? Everyone's sort of everywhere. We need to get somewhere safe. Yeah, sure, whatever. What? Dude, what's up? What do you, what do you mean, what's up? Look around. You're being all weird and mopey. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Be happy she's alive, Jake. Spill it. Don't kill it. Just be honest. Look, I'm sorry, okay? It's just... This isn't exactly how I pictured the last night going. Yeah, you and everybody else. Yeah, but it's his fault. Yeah. Hell of a way to end the summer, huh? Man, how did it come to this? Uh... Earth to Jacob? What's happening right now? It's my fault we're here, or I did this for you. Bitter is I did this for you. Remorseful is it's my fault we're here. Be remorseful. You should. Don't try to blame it on her. 
Remorseful. Okay, shit. Um, I gotta come clean. Um, what do you mean? Shit. Uh, Emma. Look, it's my fault we're stuck out here. Oh, Jacob. I. I mess with the fam. You know, when I realized we were seeing another night, this is exactly what I worried about. I know, I know, I'm so, and I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Okay? I just, I wanted to spend, I wanted to spend one more night with you. You know, together, like, like before. No, I still have feelings for you, Jacob, but this was a summer fling, that's it. We're, we're not good together. We're just not. And you didn't want to spend more time with me? I don't want to be in a relationship with you. you got to respect that. Yeah. I guess you're not the girl for me is the dismissive answer or apologetic I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. SDS says, Abby is dead, sir. Abby's death is totally on his hands. Now, to be fair, when he was thinking I wanted to spend another night with you, how would it ever be on his realm of things that could happen that they were all going to get attacked by werewolves and someone was going to die? Like, that's obviously not within any scope of what he thought could happen. But still, sir, on you, apologetic. Look, um, I know it's not going to make any difference, but I am sorry. Even if it means you're never going to talk to me again, I just, I don't want you to know that. Okay. That was honest. You have returned. Did you at least have like a little fun tonight? You know, in spite of everything? How can you ask me that? <laughs> you're a real piece of work. Look, what can I do to make this better? Jacob, there is no making this better. All you can do is hope you live long enough to take responsibility for your actions. It's not long before sunrise. All we have to do is wait it out. Eric Red, thank you for the resub. You? It's a free country, man. Sir, I mean, she was totally right when she said, I don't want to be in a relationship with you. You got to respect that. Like, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Yeah, Emma was the one in the car. I think that's it. Okay, here we go. What the? What? Oh, no. Oh. Okay, that's probably Caleb, because that werewolf didn't look white, did it? Oh, that kind of looked white. Because Silas is supposed to be the albino werewolf. Wait or run? Um, what? Can't we just shoot it? Wait and then shoot it. No? Wait and then shoot it! Run a lot, says Dante Bogdan. Okay, run, run. We're running. Two of you said run. I mean, we had a clean shot there. We might not have a clean shot again. Courage Pope says, I vote run your booty off. This one's the alpha wolf. Beam or window? What do you mean beam or window? I don't know what beam means. Uh, I guess window. 
I guess window. No! No! Ma'am, you have a gun! Shoot it! Okay, we're moving so slow, and it's going to move so fast. Ma'am, ma'am. Your gun. Turn around with your gun. What are we even trying to do here? I'm gonna run again. I'm not hiding. Caitlin, this way. Can we hide in that freezer? Please, can we hide in that freezer? That's where they're gonna pause it? Hide in the freezer, shut the freezer door. Hide in the freezer and shut the freezer door. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, it's so huge. Freezer! Use the decoy, use the bunny. Can we shut it in the freezer? Because that would be great. Use the decoy. Pull it, throw it in the freezer. Uh huh, uh huh. Go, 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 go! Shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it! Woo! Woo! Yes! Oh, baby! Boom! Okay, okay. I don't know if that's the alpha or not. There's one left. <sighs> Look, I've worked in a lot of restaurants. Those freezer doors are no joke. Sorry, I killed your whole family. What exactly happened six years ago? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas, oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter. Anymore. Rough burn? Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did, Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Hence the hunting season. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we going to find him just driving Oh! Out he found you! Um, 
um, grab the gun or take the wheel? Ah, uh, take take the wheel! Take the wheel! No one's driving this car. Travis, Travis, get it together! Come on! If the car crashed into a tree, we're screwed. Even if I have the gun. I got it! I got it! I got it! Just get down! Oh, this is real bad. There we go. Okay, well, that's definitely the white wolf. Maybe just from the headlights, but at least it looks like it right now. Go! Yes. That's not going to take it out, though. Silver. Where did he go? The shadow just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Is he also a ghost? Let's look around. Are you crazy? Under the car is a great guess. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. In the trees, maybe? Over here. Got some blood. Is he working with them? Is he luring them out to feed to the white wolf? Leads through there. I don't trust anything right now. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. Y'all, I have goosebumps where all over right now. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. <laughs> mean, mean jump scare, Joker Joe. We're not gonna shoot him in the head. Normally? I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. That's what the blood was. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's fucking do this. Go team. Ryan's so calm about everything. Okay, as we're walking into the monster's lair, I do want to see some of the new stuff we've picked up, just in case we need it for anything. Lodge renovation plans. They really should have got that fixed. Okay. Oh, actually, you know what? One more thing. Paths. Down the rabbit hole. Uh, oh, that was for the bunny. Abby left her backpack in the kitchen lodge. Caitlin, Abby, and Nick were able to hide in the cabin. Dylan was bitten. Caitlin was able to use the pull string toy to distract Caleb and trap him in the freezer. Heck yeah. So we know for a fact that was Caleb now. Um, Laura, Travis, and Ryan run Silas down after he attacked the car. That's where we left off there. Team building. Caitlin trapped Caleb in the kitchen with Dylan's help. Yep, yep. And yeah, Jacob got out and didn't help them, of course. But Nick, the werewolf, is also out. So Nick is just running around. Emma and Jacob were finally reunited in the woods. Jacob admitted to Emma that he sabotaged the minivan. All right. It all makes sense now. You got wolf blood? Found it in the woods. Travis just reminded me. Whoa! Um, you should take it. There's not enough for the both of us. No, Whoa. I, can't, I can't do that. It's yours. You've been through a lot more than I have. Anyone deserves to get out of this alive, it's you. Whoa, which wolf was Nick bitten by? That's a great question. I'm not sure we know. But I don't think it was... 
I guess if it was Caleb or Silas, he'd still be a wolf. But right, Nick was bitten by Caleb, says Una, okay? We don't know. We don't know. Um, Let's see. Do we give it to Ryan or do we take the vial? I feel like this started in the prologue as Lara's story. But it could also be Ryan's. Uh, Joker Joe, what the blood does, the werewolf blood hides the human scent is what it does. Mm. Riz says, no way you have the silver shot and give it to Ryan. You know what? You're right. We've got the shotgun. Give it to Ryan. Give it to Ryan. This is yours. Are you sure? Yeah, we'll be fine. I got this. <sighs> Ugh. Pungent. Rather stinky than dead. I mean, not. De I'm, I'll sure. I'm sure you'll be fine. I'm looking for audio glitches. Sorry, Duetti. I did just hear something weird in the speaker, so maybe it was that. My setup in my parents' house is weird. God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. The podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my gosh, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who you're talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. Who was she? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. And so has she. How did the fire start? The Hackett's? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? I just wanted help. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. Is Whoops. That what happened? No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. We could just kill Caleb. Too mean. Let's go with reflective. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. <laughs> this, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. 
man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Is it hurt or dying? What's wrong? This is so what weird. For? Shoot your stupid girl. I mean, we have to shoot it or it's going to kill her, right? We have to shoot her, it's going to kill her. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about this. Something let's, didn't let's feel just, right about that. Let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. I hope we did the right thing. Oh, I hope we did the right thing. But the premonition. The premonition showed him killing Laura if we didn't, right? Oh. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. Yeah, where's the twist? I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. You have returned. Respire from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Thanks. Creepy.
The one that was smashed by the car was Silas. Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. What do you make that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Okay, can we at least start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are. Real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. It's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Okay. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, God. Why? Why are you smiling? Stop it. I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So, today's episode is going to have a bit of a show Please and tell me it's Ryan. To it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say I that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you... Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's... Bizarre. You think they sent them Abby's oh, head? No, that's awful. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. I like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you, what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently, they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes, you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned oh. or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If, some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but course you can't. 
What, do I have, like, a history of not verifying? Is that what was on the SD card, maybe? I feel very strongly that he was drowned. Okay, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay, I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing, he's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, I, who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe? Still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though? I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't I just don't know. my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So? Maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there, too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them, too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera, and they have a monogram of their initials. Pretty convincing. I think, at least. Or it's water damage. I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So... We've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers uh-huh. <laughs> the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange reclusive family. Mm-hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. So the podcast okay, is different based on your playthrough. That's cool. Haunted woods. If you say so. From the peanut butter puffs or whatever the heck they were called. Welcome to Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light rating. Okay, you're going to make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. We never got to read this! <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy, how long are we going to drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing, but I want to know what's outside the forest 
outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended for now. So, I don't think that's going to be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Yup. Well, it was never So yeah, this said. is apparently That's depending insane. what type of evidence and what? who was found Sign alive and dead Hackett. during hey, your gameplay. we're play. not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. I guess it wasn't technically That will sent change the us. podcast. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Fucked up that these guys know who we are. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real, super natch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? <laughs> no, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes... The truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, well, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Definitely Again, not a bear. You saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh, yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Yeah, moving the mouse doesn't do anything, moment, Dizzy Tech, but good try. Place. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please, just... Say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo taken by one of the counselors, Emma Mountbank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my God, is that real? This is what we're here to discuss. It looks shocked. I mean, doesn't it? I don't think so. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. What the hell is that? Bizarre yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than what we're being told. Man. There's something else too. Yeah? Look what happens when I put it through a negative filter. What is that? It's her, the hag of Hackett's quarry. See, full circle. I mean, that could be anything, dude. It, it barely even looks like a person. What's, what's that thing where your mind makes you see faces and shit? I can't believe you're still questioning this. What do you want me to say? Ultimately, unless I experience something myself, the most likely reasoning is that it's fabricated. Okay, then what do you think of this? 
Ew, is that skin? Skin, fur, whatever you want to call it, really. It looks human. Hmm. Wait, is it? Apparently, it belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Do we have the actual thing? Can I see it in the flesh, so to speak? No, just the photo. Whoever got in touch was smart enough to not risk actually stealing evidence. Oh, convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man. Just saying. So, what we've got here, this could incriminate the Hackett family, or what's left of them, at least. Wait, you believe it? I don't know. At the very least, we should tell someone. The police should know, right? So you believe it? All of it? No, I'm not the supernatural stuff. I'm talking about killing those hikers. We've got a body, evidence they were there. This is real stuff, Grace. It's stacking up against the hackage. We might, yeah. we might actually we got, know something. We got a whole flapjack stack of evidence. Yes. So what do we do? Shut off the podcast and report this to somebody? What? No! <laughs> Anton, we finally have something going here. It's getting juicy. Yes, we have something real. We have actual people have actually died. This is actually crazy. Grace, you did it. Just take the win. Let's turn this off and actually report it. No, say actually more. Ass. Hiker remains recovered. Hackett family suspected. So the only surviving member of the Hackett family has been arrested and charged with the murder of missing hikers Edward Benson and Anne Radcliffe. I mean, did they see too much? They had to kill them because they saw too much? Maybe that's it. Okay. So let's see now. On our paths. Finders keepers. Uh... Ryan took a shot and hit the hunter. Ryan picked up the vial dropped by the hunter. Laura declined Ryan's offer of the blood vial. So that all happened. The white whale continues about Silas. Laura killed Silas, ending his line of infection and curing every living person who was bitten at Hackett's quarry. Now, I guess we did evidence and clues. We had a lot that we... Did not find about the freak show fire. Damaged memorabilia. We did get some more. The night of the fire is when Chris was bitten. This is where it all began for him. That's when Caleb was bitten too. We know that now. Yeah. Kids let her home. The ghost stories were true. The ghost of Eliza, the hag of Hackett's quarry, has wandered these woods for six years looking for a lost baby boy. Okay, and all of the other question marks, it means we found a piece of that evidence, but I guess not the starting piece of that evidence. Timmer says, did you play a lot yesterday and I missed it? No, I haven't streamed since Thursday. But don't worry, I'll put all the VODs on YouTube if you want to see everything that I did. The first one is already up. The High Priestess. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's Quarry ever since, and she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night, though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. It's true. It's true. So that's what we got. Quit out to main menu. Yes. Yes. You've unlocked the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse a playable character's death and try again to save them. Use your three lives wisely. Enable the Death Rewind feature now. Yes. You can enable or disable the Death Rewind feature via the accessibility section of the settings menu at any time. Okay. Whoo! Oh. My. Goodness. So, there were many jump scares and lots of terrifying things that happened there, but honestly, the fact that I finished the quarry with everyone alive except for one person, uh, as far as my campers go, 
is good. Now, the Hackett family didn't fare quite so well. I wonder if there's a way to play through this, save all members of the Hackett family, and save all the camp staffers. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but my playthrough, uh, thank you so much for enjoying it with me. Thank you for being here with me through all of the terror. Thank you to everybody who, uh, thank you to everybody who joined me. Ah, it's still so scary down here.